What's going on everybody? Jacob here. I've, uh, I've just returned from Bali actually um, and I had I had an experience on the plane. I had it went from being an absolutely terrible experience to being one that I could handle. And uh, today's video is going to be about my first actual attempt at meditation. I'm not sure whether I had, uh, you know, you know how they talk about, um, you know, having an awakening or, or something like that, something really drastic uh, and 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 really telling. But uh, what did happen? Was, well, I'll start at the start. I'll start at the start. Now, recently I have been looking into meditation. Um, I've been looking into spirituality. I've been looking into all sorts of stuff to do with that. And, uh, you know, I still hadn't tried meditation. And to be honest, uh, you know, what I've, what I've just done uh, today, earlier on, probably wasn't meditation to be fair, but... I'll explain to you what, what happened, all right? So I was on the plane, cramped up in the fucking, you know, smallest seat. Uh, it was a five hour flight. It was at 11 o'clock at night and I'd been up since about six o'clock that morning. I uh, hadn't had fuck all sleep the night before. So basically by the time I got on the plane, I was absolutely shattered. Uh, and this, the, I, I did the stupidest thing. As soon as I got to the airport, I smashed a double shot coffee. So, you know that feeling when you're really extremely tired and then you go and have caffeine and it's like, it, it doesn't keep you awake. It doesn't boost you, but it means that you can't get to sleep. And you know, I'm not the best at getting to sleep on a fucking, on a plane anyway. Um, you know, I, I, who, who, can, who really can sleep sitting up? I mean, I, I certainly can't. So, what happened was I was stuck on the plane, you know, I was having an absolutely terrible time uh, in the middle, middle seat, um, you know, can you imagine Jetstar, it was a Jetstar flight, there's, there's no entertainment, if I had a TV in front of me it might, it might not have been so bad, there was absolutely nothing to do, um, I was stuck on this plane and I had caffeine running through me, but I still felt like shit. So. What I did was I thought, holy shit, okay, I'm gonna try meditation. And you know, the basis behind meditation, as far as I know, is breathing. That's the first thing you wanna focus on. So, close your eyes, you start breathing nice and deeply, nice and slow, and focus on your breathing. So, you imagine the air coming through your, through your mouth, into your lungs, you know, into your stomach, and then coming back out again and you imagine your lungs filling up and going back down and you, and you and you feel it you feel the breath and you know when you're when you're distracted by everything around you and and worrying about too much shit you don't you, you i mean you just breathe subconsciously you don't actually focus on it and you don't you don't sort of get that calmness so here i was sitting in the middle seat in the plane uh, focusing on my breathing i could shut my eyes i put both hands on my knees and I started breathing and the first thing I noticed was the fact that if I was breathing five seconds in and five seconds out all it took was six breaths and I'd already done a minute so what that meant was that in 60 minutes 360 breaths would be 60 minutes and that's not a whole amount of breaths I mean you know I, I, I'd count the first six I'd count 10 I'd count 20 and uh, before I knew it, guys, before I knew it, I, I started drifting off. I started drifting off into, into uh, you know, probably some sort of dream, although I wasn't going to sleep. So a random as like scenario would pop into my head and then, I'd, and then I'd sort of come to and I'd be like, oh shit, okay, oh maybe it's working. So then I'd put my hands on my knees again, focus on my breathing and you know, eventually, without me really realizing it, all the sound around me, you know, the, the plane noise, everything just sort of went quiet. 
and I was able to just sit there calmly without worrying about the seat that I was in because I was comfortable I was actually comfortable sitting there with my hands on my knees rather than trying to crimp up and fucking you know scrunch up and, and, and put my head this way put my head that way you know that certainly what wasn't gonna do me any good and it was absolutely driving me insane I was I was not in a good space and so that is why I sort of you know thought fuck it I'll try meditation and so I did and I would say that is my first sort of attempt first experience with meditation and what it can do for you and so what I'm excited to do is is go to a place where I'm comfortable a nice quiet place sit down and try it again and see what happens you know as I said before I'm not looking for an awakening sort of thing that they say can happen through meditation all I'm looking for is to is to experience a sense of peace and calmness and be able to go back to that place whenever I want to. I think that would be amazing. And I, I think I started something here on this plane ride. And, and so, you know, I, I thought I'd make a video. So this video is called My First Experience with Meditation. And, um, and you know, I... I I advise you guys to do the same. Uh, I, I, I'm no expert, obviously. I, all I've done is watch a few videos on it, but I do know that you start with with getting comfortable, and I did. I got as comfortable as possible in a fucking tiny ass plane seat. You know, I'm six foot one. It's uh, it, it's not good. It wasn't an exit row, and put my put my hands on my knees and started breathing, nice and slow, focusing on my breath. Imagining the breath go into my lungs and back out, into my lungs and back out. And I tell you what guys, it did fucking wonders. It did absolute wonders. So with that said, um, that is that is my message for today. And I hope you guys get something out of it. And um, yeah, like I said, what I'd love to get out of sort of meditation would be to be able to enter that space, that mental space, head space, um, at will. And I think... If I keep doing it, maybe I'll get there. So, anyways, <laughs> now I'm driving home. I've just done a five-hour bloody plane ride, no sleep, fuck all sleep, and now now I've got to drive home to uh, Alice Springs, which is going to take uh, a fair few hours. So, uh, I'd better probably better get off uh, the camera in here. I, I am actually extremely tired right now, um, but I feel like I'm talking sense funnily enough so anyways have a great day guys peace